Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to get jobs in core electronics companies. If you are passionate about semiconductor industries, willing to start your career in this field but not able to crack interviews, then this video is for you. Actually from last one month, I was getting multiple DMs from you guys. Few students were asking that their resume is not getting selected. Few students were asking that how uh, they can develop their skills, they are not feeling confident enough, they are not able to crack the interviews. So I thought to make a dedicated video on this topic so that other students will also get the benefit. So before moving ahead, if you are watching my videos first time, then I am Shweta, research scholar at IIT Dhanbad. I am a VLSI enthusiast and doing my research in neuromorphic computing. You can follow me on Instagram and ask your career related doubts. As we all know, semiconductor industry is booming in India. A lot of job openings are coming and in near future it will increase by 10 times. This field demands skilled engineers. So guys, your degree is not enough. You have to work on your skills because competition is increasing. Around two years ago, mostly final year students or third year students asked me that how they can prepare for the interviews, how they can start their career in semiconductor industries. But from last two, three months, what difference I have feel? First year students, 12th class students asking me, ma'am, how we can start our career in this field? From which subject we can start our learning? So guys, this is how the competition is increasing. Being an electronics engineering student, you must focus on these four points, which I'm going to tell you. These things will help you in your entire four years engineering. First is cultivate the right mindset. You need to understand the economic condition. A job market can be influenced by various factors like economic downturns, technological disruption or company specific issues like layoffs. So you have to recognize that these conditions are beyond your control. You cannot do anything. You cannot stop the layoffs. You cannot stop the economic disruptions. But what you can do, you can increase your inputs. You can improve your efficiency. Concentrate on what you can control, like your skills, your resume building, and your approach for the job search. You have to accept challenges as an opportunity. It's completely fine if your resume is not getting selected. It's completely fine if you are not able to crack the interview. There is no problem if you are getting continuous rejection. Take your joblessness as an opportunity to strengthen your skills and to prepare for the further job roles rather than a setback. As per the current market scenario, this mindset shift is very important to empower you and to motivate you. Your competition is with yourself, so stop comparing with others. Cracking an interview is a mindset game. It's not enough just to have skills, but the more important thing is how confidently you are delivering those skills, how confidently you are telling your answers and you are able to solve those problems. Second point is applying in startups versus big companies. Most of the students are keep on applying in giant companies or in their dream companies. But notice one thing here, the competition is very high in those companies because most of the students are applying for that. And there is very less probability that your resume will get shortlisted. So it's my recommendation to all the freshers, don't restrict yourself to big companies only. Just start applying in startups, in small scale or middle scale companies too. In your first job or internship, your college or your GPA matters a lot. But once you enter in this industry, after that, your experience matters. So it's always recommended to secure a job as early as possible. Even if the salary is not that high, even if the company is not that big. But once you enter in this particular industry, after that, you will get multiple opportunity. And that time your college name or your GPA will not that matter. There are both pros and cons of joining a startup or a giant company. Startups usually provide exposure to variety of tasks and responsibilities. So you can get an opportunity to wear multiple hats. In the initial phase of your career, you can get a diverse experience here. 
in giant companies no doubt you will get a higher salary package you will get stability but they usually have specialized roles which may limit your exposure to the different fields of electronics engineering it's comparatively easy to get selected in startups however in case of big companies sometimes the hiring process is very lengthy if you are applying in off campus then you must apply in as much companies as possible crafting a short term vision and a long term vision is important your short term vision means what you are going to do in next one year you have to decide what all things you have to learn what skills you have to develop for the next one year you can aim to secure internships and to make some good level projects in order to build a strong resume in your long term vision you have to plan for next 5 years how you will take a leadership role how you will become a subject matter expert how you will stay updated with the industry trend all these things you have to decide and you have to plan this type of strategic planning will help you to stay away from distraction and to work continuously on yourself in order to improve your skills fourth and the most important point is enhancing skills and networking you have to continuously update your technical skills in order to stay relevant explore the advanced topics in electronics engineering like the advanced vlsi design low power techniques artificial intelligence etc in order to crack your core electronics interview it's very important to work on your soft skills along with your technical skills soft skills like the problem solving project management and effective communication skills If there are two candidates, first candidate has a very strong technical knowledge but having weak communication skills. However, the second candidate is having the average technical knowledge but a strong communication skills. So can you tell me which candidate is having the higher probability of getting selected? Obviously the second one because communication skill is something which you cannot skip. It's very 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 important. Communication skills means the basic English which you can speak your professional writing and your presentation skills if your english is weak guys just start working on that you don't have any other option because in maximum companies you need to speak you need to give your interview in english only there are a lot of resources available on youtube so just go and check that start practicing from today itself You must know how to write an email, how to deliver your idea, how to convey your message. Guys, it's not like you will improve your communication skill in just one day. It will take some time, so start practicing as early as possible. You can talk with your friends in English. You can plan for a mock interview with your friends. That will eventually help you in order to improve your communication skills. In your job search journey, networking plays a crucial role. Networking means how much people from electronics engineering background are in your contact list to how many of them you can ask for referrals that is the actual meaning of networking for that you can attend some conferences seminars and workshops related to the electronics engineering linkedin is a very good option for that you can build your connections you can ask them for their referrals but remember guys referrals can only help you to shortlist your resume but eventually you have to crack the interview and for that skills are very important in any industry if you see the top successful people one thing is common they all are working on their skills they keep on improving themselves even after getting a government job or a higher position they do not saturate themselves they keep on improving they keep on learning and this is something which creates a difference so concluding today's video you have to focus on these four points in order to secure a good job position in core electronics companies cultivate a right mindset start applying in startups and mid scale companies along with giant companies craft a short term and a long term vision enhance your skills and networking Here skills means both your technical and your soft skills. Always aim for a prominent position in top 10% in your field. Take your joblessness and challenges as an opportunity. And remember one thing: perseverance and adaptability is the key to success. So keep on improving yourself. 
This is it guys. This is about today's video. I hope the video is helpful to you. Subscribe BLSI Point. If you like the content, you can also connect with me on Instagram and ask your personal career related doubts. We will meet in the next video. Till then, keep learning and stay curious.